In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a mock transition slide in PowerPoint. And in this example, I've taken the family vacation photos to be used in this sample. You can see here, I've created one ramp here, kind of a road where the, the image of the family will appear. As you can see here, I've used this particular image from the internet. Then I've uh, placed the Switzerland photo in the background and then I've used some uh, uh, the gradient field text here okay so when i click it will change and then you can see here the singapore has come and the background the singapore image and then a different family pose comes here and when i click here then comes dubai and then riyadh so depending on the requirement you can just change the background change the family photo with your own uh, photos and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to add one ramp here for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape so freeform shape i'm going to create it start clicking from here then I'm going to make it one click here. You can see here one here and one here. Then again, I'm going to add like this. And then till here. And let's join it. So you can see here, it looks something like this. All right. So shape outline, make it no outline. Then right mouse click, edit points here i can edit the points first of all i'm going to edit it and i'm going to make it a curve can you see here and here also i'm going to click here and i'm going to make it a curve kind of thing okay so you can see here let me just do like this yeah and then here also i'm going to make it curved And here also I'm going to make it curve. All right, so you can see here it's looking more curved this side and make sure that this is somewhat straight. All right, and here also let me just make it more curved. So we need to spend some time here to make it more curved looked and here also you can see here i'm making it like more curved here so this is done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover this with another shape for that go to insert shapes again i'm going to select the freeform shape first of all i'm going to connect this one from here till here you can see here and again join that one yeah and give some different color for the time being and we can change it later part no outline then send this to back so you can see here it becomes like this you can go to insert shapes freeform shape for this i'm going to make one like this here till here and let's do this one also again this also i'm going to give more darker color and send to pack and then the last part is this one so again go to insert shapes i'm going to freeform shape again do it like this you can see here and this also no outline and send to back so i've got my ramp ready and if you want to adjust this one you need to select all the objects by pressing ctrl a and ctrl g to group it and then you can reduce it the way you want okay so this is just one ramp i have created depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size you can see here if you want more up you can make it more up if you want more down you can make it more down all right so once this is done this is just a ramp now this ramp color you can just change to any color of your choice maybe i'm going to make it white and then uh, because it is not visible i'm going to insert some background here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle and draw the rectangle covering the whole slide 
shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to insert some pictures here so click on insert because i have de by default i use this picture for the switzerland if you want you can just go and click uh, insert online pictures and any image of a city or a country or whatever you can just search from here so i'm just going to say switzerland and you can see here i have selected this particular image if you want you can select this image or this image and click insert and this image got inserted here and then i'm going to send this to back so you can see here the ramp is uh, clearly visible and again you can go and give some different colors i can select the gradient color and here i'm going to use some kind of uh, a dark gray with some light gray color combination okay and then the direction i can just choose like this more darker and here also i can just choose, choose the same you can see here and here also i can just choose the same thing like this so my ramp is ready my background images is ready now what we need to do is i'm going to use these images which i've used uh, uh, from the internet i'm just going to copy this one so this is my first image control c and i'm going to paste it here control v and i'm going to place them on the ramp increase the size you can see here like this and then i'm going to type switzerland on the top go to insert text box and i'm going to type switzerland and you can use any font i'm going to use maybe open sans extra bold and increase the size you can see here how much you want you can just increase depending on the requirement right align and i'm going to give some gradient fill for this in that case you need to go to the text options and for the text you can select the gradient fill and gradient fill i can just choose any two color combination you can see here purple with orange or whatever you can see here it looks like this and again if you want to create an outline also you can do it simply you just need to go to the text outline make it solid outline and change the color to white and if you want increase the width all right so you can see here the switzerland so this is my very first slide okay so here the transition we need to add but we should not add for the first slide we need to add for the second slide onward so i'm going to duplicate this slide okay now what i'm going to do is this particular image i'm going to move it out okay and reduce the size you can see here or let it be i'm just going to make it the same size and i'm going to keep it out and then i'm going to my image and i'm going to select this particular okay and control c and i'm going to place it here control v and increase the size okay so this is my second image now what happens here is we have to add the uh, the morph transition so i'm going to select this one and click on morph so you can see here the first has moved and second will come here but there's one catch so this particular image which we are adding for the second slide we need to copy this one and put it into the first slide but it has to be out of the slide area and it has to be reduced the size has to be reduced and you need to keep it here okay so this will comes in and this will moves out here you can see here this will move out and this will comes in so now if i play this is my first slide and can you see here it is coming here now i would like to make it somewhat faster instead of two i can make it uh, maybe one second and then here instead of switzerland i'm going to give some other country so i'm going to first change the image go to insert online pictures okay and i'm going to say uh, maybe uh, london for example you can see here some good images of london so i'm just going to select this image and click insert so the image of london got changed and i'm going to change the text as well and this text i would like to move it towards the right side so i'll move it to so towards the left side sorry all right and okay so this is my first slide and this is my second slide so now if i play 
Switzerland and it is coming London. But remember that the text is not moving properly. In that case, what we need to do is we need to name that text with the help of two exclamation marks. So let me just go to the home tab, select selection pane. And for this text, I'm going to use exclamation, exclamation two times. And I will just say text or country name, for example, or city name rather than country. I'll just say city name. You can give any name. It's not mandatory that you need to give this only, but make sure that this exclamation exclamation has to be there. Okay. I'm copying this one and I'm going here to the London and again, I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So let's see now how it looks. Switzerland. Can you see here? It's just moving. Switzerland and London here. Okay. Likewise, if you need to add few more slides, again, you need to duplicate this slide. Okay. Now this slide, what you need to do is, for example, this one, anyway, this is of no use. If you want, you can delete it, but I'm just going to keep this here. This one has to be out now. Reduce or just keep it here. And let me just add one more slide, uh, the image. I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to paste it here. Increase the size. All right. And let me just place them over this. And again, this particular image, it has to be available here. Okay. That is very, very important. If you don't do that one, then the transition, the small transition will not work. So now let's see. Now this one instead of London, and I'm going to change it. The background, first of all. Okay. So the background, I would like to add. Uh, maybe some other uh, cities so let me just add the city where i am living in currently so this is riyadh saudi arabia and you can see here you have got some good pictures of the city and then let me just choose this one and click ok and here instead of this one i would like the name to appear here all right so you can see here and let me just make it right aligned and put it here all right now let me just play so switzerland comes the london then comes riyadh you can see here again if you want you can just go back all right so this is the simplest way you can do the uh, more of animation effect